Hello everybody, Roger says hey as usual. So this video is going to be a little different than my usual videos because I'm filming this for both Patreon and YouTube at the same time. I'm going to be putting this up on Patreon today and also I'm going to be editing down a version for YouTube because I know this Black Adder series is copyrighted by the BBC and they are either going to uh, copyright it or block it or something on YouTube so it is going to be edited down quite a bit. If you are watching this on YouTube I am going to be doing the the full Black Adder series over on Patreon. Patreon is where I do videos that I can't do over here on YouTube. Currently we are doing the World at War series and it's a 26 episode series about an hour long each episode and I've really been enjoying that. We just finished episode 23 yesterday and so we got three more to go. We are doing Dad's Army over there as well. I just finished season three of Dad's Army. I think it's three, right? I've really been enjoying that show as well. And we're taking a short break from Dad's Army to do a season of Blackadder or a series, as you guys say over in the UK. We're going to be doing series two of Blackadder because I've had a lot of people tell me that that's where the show really kind of starts because season one is so different from the rest of the, the series. So what I'm going to be doing is watching a uh, series two and then we're gonna go back and watch one at the uh, end of it all. I've also been told that I should start with episode two. two. <laughs> My instinct is to do it the other way around and I learned that that was flipping off people in the UK so I'm trying not to do that. Yeah we're gonna be starting with with uh, episode two of Blackadder because it was the first episode actually and they just aired them out of order. So I I was told that by patrons that it would make way more sense if I watched episode two first and then went back and did one. I briefly read like a synopsis. I don't really understand the synopsis, but I'm sure I'll understand more as I watch the show. I've been told it's very, very different from Dad's Army. So the humor in Dad's Army is more slapstick, more on your nose. I've been told the, the humor in Blackadder is very different. I don't really know what to expect yet. The only Blackadder I have seen is a very, very short clip that I actually put up on YouTube months ago. The Blackadder character explained how World War I began. It was just like a very like short two or three minute clip. So that's the only Blackadder I have seen. I do know that it is like a different, it's like a different generation of Blackadder in each different series. So it's kind of set in a different series with the, I think the last one is World War One. We'll get to it eventually. What we're gonna probably do is swap between Blackadder and Dad's Army over here on Patreon. So when series two of Blackadder is done, we're gonna go through all six episodes. Then we'll uh, switch back to Dad's Army season four, series four, and then go probably come back to Blackadder. We're also doing Horrible Histories over on Patreon. I'm watching that entire series over there as well. Getting close to the end of season two of Horrible Histories. So I've got like like 23 episodes of Horrible Histories over there for you guys to watch if you're interested in that. That's a quick rundown. And then also on Patreon, we do movie nights. So I've done some of the Sharp series with uh, Sharp's Rifles and Sharp's Eagle. We've done those two. And we've done a couple of other movies as well. Zulu being one of them. Muppet Christmas Carol we did for Christmas. And we'll be probably doing that at least once a month. We have a lot of fun over there. If you guys are interested in extra content, you know, longer form content that's not edited down, you can go check it out over on Patreon. And you'll find the links to all of that in the description and my pinned comment. All right. So yeah, I'm really kind of, uh, I'm looking forward to this. Also a little nervous for some reason. I don't know. Like, I just don't know how I'm going to respond to this, you know? Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll enjoy it and it'll be good. I really enjoy comedy. I've had a lot of people building this up for me, so hopefully it doesn't d disappoint. So let's check out Blackadder season two. Here we go. I, part of the reason I'm nervous is because I don't want, I'm, I'm afraid there's going to be a lot of cultural references in this and there's going to be a lot of like, you know, English branded humor, especially when you're talking about like royalty and stuff. I'm afraid I'm not going to like get or something. So uh, if I don't get something, let me know down in the comments that I'm not getting it. <laughs> Oh great. Yeah, the beheaded sub. You know I love that. Right, Maury. If I have two beans, and then I add two more beans, what do I have? Some beans. Look like a bird who swallowed a plate. <laughs> <laughs> it's the latest fashion. 
thinking is so important. What do you think? Thinking is so important. I think thinking is so important. Milady, <laughs> you wish to see me? Yes, Edmund. Lord Melchard has bad news. <laughs> Lord Blackadder? <laughs> Now, it's not right he should be on Wednesday when we could stick him in on Monday and have half the week off. <laughs> is that, uh, is that Rowan Atkinson? It doesn't look like him to me. Maybe it's just because of the facial hair, but I don't know. Well done, and your name is? Poppy, sir. Now then, woman. If indeed you are a woman. <laughs> what is your function, mistress? Uh... Ploppy, sir. Oh, so you are married to him. No, but it's pure coincidence. And your name is? Baldrick, my lord. But I'll change it to plop if it'll make things easier. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh... But in order to give us the middle of the week off, Lord Blackadder has decided to move Pharaoh to Monday. Yes, Lady Pharaoh. My husband dies tomorrow. May I see him? Okay, who is this queen? Is this a real queen? First of all, I should just ask. Is this a real queen or that actually existed that she's portraying? Or is this just a made-up queen that they... Put on the throne. Also, this royal chamber is tiny. Is it is it tiny like that on purpose, just for like comedy, or is that how it really was? Like I I don't know. Like this is some of the stuff that I'm a little unsure about. Of course, you may see your husband, my dear. So they're all dead, are they? Yep, all three. Drake, Effingham, <coughs> Pharaoh. Thank you. Thank you, sir. On the whole, I was impressed. <laughs> They've gone, Percy. I wish to see my husband tonight. That Pharaoh bloke you executed today. You sure he's dead? Well, chopped his head off, that usually does the trick. <laughs> I'm afraid there really is no chance of a meeting. But the Queen told me it would be allowed. <laughs> fine, fine, absolutely. Now, I want you to put a bag on your head and talk to his old lady. <laughs> Before I bring in Lady Farrow, I shall explain to her that her husband has taken to wearing a bag. <laughs> she can then chat to Baldrick, imagine. What have you done to him? We have put a bag over his head. <laughs> Why? Well, I'll just go check he's bagged up. <laughs> Lord Farrow was considerably taller. I was gonna say, like, he's a pretty short guy, so maybe they should uh, take that into consideration in case this other guy wasn't that short. He's about to do it, isn't he? <laughs> if you want something, then... <laughs> okay. You've got he had a very deep voice. Big, deep, booming voice. So, as you know, you are about to meet your husband. I am prepared for the fact that he may have lost some weight. Yes, and some height. <laughs> <laughs> you will be telling me his arms grown back next. Excuse, just for a second. <laughs> oh my God. Which one? Uh, Which one? Uh, 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 how do we know you're his wife? What? I'll believe you're not a gloater if you tell me which arm he hasn't got. Now don't forget, in two minutes you interrupt me, all right? And no more than two minutes, otherwise I'm in real trouble. Because we're not at home to Mr. Cockup. Correct. <laughs> we're not at home something. I didn't understand what he said. Not as deep nor booming as once it was. Is that better? <laughs> oh, your brother petitions the Queen tomorrow morning. There may still be hope. Yes, all right, then let him off. He probably is innocent anyway. So, Lord Blackadder. <laughs> I want to see Lord Farrow here in one hour. <laughs> Let's see if there are any good heads in Traitor's Cloister on the way. Someone's for the chop. Let's face facts, Puss. It's you. <laughs> Except I may have a plan. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord Farrow's head and body, and we take it to the Queen. Except when he said something traitorous, and so we cut his head off in the corridor to teach him a lesson. Oh, God, well, that's where the Queen's gone. <laughs> you fetch the body, I'll cover the head. So, Edmund, look, I'm sorry it's I snapped just now. <laughs> that's not Farrow, isn't it? No, that's Ponsonby. Ponsonby. That genius Baldrick has killed the wrong bloke. Bring in Lord Ponsonby. Yes, your royal majestic. You would have thought that he'd have had problems enough. What with that hunch? <laughs> only having one leg. <laughs> Sorry about the bag. Didn't have time to shine. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's a totally different show from Dad's Army, that's for sure. This is a lot more, like, sarcastic 
type humor, which I like. This is gonna be interesting. I like the humor of it. I think it's harder for an American though to get into like the, I think it's just a bit of a cultural difference when it comes to like the royals. Like I get it, like I get what they're doing, but I feel like there's a little bit of a cultural thing there with maybe this series. Now when it gets to other series when, when they're a bit more modern times, maybe uh, it'll feel a little different and slightly more relatable. I feel like uh, if you're British, you might you just might get it on a different level than than I would necessarily. That said, that doesn't mean that um, I can't appreciate the show and don't like it. I really enjoyed it. one of my favorite characters. I think is the um, Baldric. So Baldric, isn't there? Wasn't there another Baldric in in the World War One one? Wasn't Baldric the uh, kind of the guy with the glasses, like the nerd type guy. So do these characters like carry on, like all the characters carry on? I thought it would be just Blackadder, but maybe some of these other characters also are in the other series as well. That would be a, that would be interesting if that's the case. But Baldrick was one of my favorite characters in this. I think he had some of the best lines. I think my favorite line was when he said, well, I can change it to, um, oh, what was their, their name? Pop, pop, Poppy something. I can change it to that, you know, if it'll be easier. <laughs> I like that line. I ha Is that a Rowan Atkinson though? It doesn't look like him at all. I would have never guessed that was him. But maybe it's just the like the facial hair and the curly hair. Let me know if the queen character is like based on a real queen or if it's just a fictional queen. I'm not gonna lie, she did get on my nerves a little bit. She's just too she's just too spacey, I think, for me. Yeah, interesting. I think I'm just having to like absorb like what did I just watch? And I think as I watch it more and more and more, I think it'll it'll I'll like settle into it. Get used to the characters in the world and the type of humor and all of that stuff because this is genuinely like my first time really watching this show so so I look forward to the rest of this season I think one cool thing is even though I said that there is a little bit of that cultural difference there it's kind of cool at the same time you know because it does give me a kind of more of an even though it's comedic you know and it's not totally based on reality or whatever it does still kind of give me a little bit more insight into like British culture and history to a certain extent because I'm sure like this type of stuff <laughs> really didn't go on you know so I can appreciate it for that as well we'll be going to episode one next week uh, which is called bells I believe so look forward to it appreciate you guys recommending black adder to me I'm just really curious to see more of the show I'm sure it'll grow on me as I go along so hopefully you can answer my questions down in the comments for all of you on YouTube um, I do have my social media discord patreon links in the description in the pinned comment again if you want to watch the unedited version of this um, you can click on the patreon link and it will take you over to my patreon there and uh, if you want to watch the rest of the series with me over on patreon we're gonna do that so and plus I have all those other shows as well if you're interested in any of those I do have a Star Trek podcast as well if you're a Trekkie the link to that is in the description and pinned comments Roger here and I thank you guys for watching we'll have to figure out a hat for Roger for Blackadder so if you have a suggestion let me know what would be good for Roger and Blackadder. More Blackadder to come and we'll see you guys next time.